Hands constitute the main framework of the trunk. Each vertebrae has a centrally hollow portion. Okay, a hollow portion is present at the center where a canal is present called a neural canal. Okay, through this neural canal, the spinal cord is generally passes. First vertebrae is called atlas. 26 serial vertebrae are present. The first one is atlas. It articulates with the occipital contents of the skull. The vertebral column is differentiated into various regions based upon their uh, presence. There are cervical vertebrae present at the neck region, seven cervical vertebrae are present. At the chest region, thoracic vertebrae are present, total 12 thoracic vertebrae are present at the chest region, matching portion and important for matching type. And cervical vertebrae present at the neck region. Okay. Below the thoracic region, at the stomach region, there is a region called lumbar region. Total 5 lumbar vertebrae are present. Sacrum, which is present below the lumbar, and one sacral bone is present. And tip of the sacrum or vertebral column contains coccygeal bone, only one coccygeal bone is present. The number of cervical vertebrae are seven in almost all the mammals. That is the special uh, about the cervical vertebrae. If you take the cervical vertebrae, what is that? Cervical vertebrae. This cervical vertebrae, if you carefully see, the cervical vertebrae in all the mammals, almost in all the mammals, they are seven in numbers, indicated by C. Okay? And including in human beings, their number is seven. That is a very special character of cervical vertebrae. The vertebral column protects the spinal cord, supports the head, serves as the point for attachment. Okay, now? Sternum is a flat bone that is present on the ventral surface of the thorax. About this, we will learn in the next class. And if you see the diagram of the spinal cord, it looks like this. Neck region, cervical vertebrae, there are seven cervical vertebrae. Thoracic region, 12. Lumbar, as you know very well about the number. Sacrum, 1. Coccygeal one, okay. Seven plus twelve, nineteen. Nineteen plus five, twenty-four. Sternum one, twenty-six, okay. Total together, twenty-six serially vertebrae are present, okay. These are called as a, basically, these are called the vertebrae. What are the called vertebrae? Okay. Did you understand this? Say yes or no. Okay. Here, 7 are cervical vertebrae. 19 plus 5, 24 and 25, 26. Total together, 26 vertebrae are attached to the vertebral bone. Apart from this, if you take the last bone of the uh, axial skeleton, that is rib, a rib cage is made up of rib bones are 12 pairs in number. Each rib is dorsoventrally flattened and they are thin bones. Okay? Connected dorsally to the vertebral column and ventrally to the sternum. That is very important. It has two articulation surfaces, hence these kind of rib bones are called bicephalic ribs. Okay now? And these bicephalic ribs, first seven pairs of ribs are called true rib bones. What are they? True rib bones. Dorsally they are, if you take the dorsal surface, they are attached to the thoracic region. 
okay ventrally connected to the sternum you know that ventrally they are connected to the sternum with the help of hyaline cartilage and hyaline cartilage plays an important role in this connection if you take the 8th 9th 10th pair of ribs do not articulate directly with the help of sternum but they are joined to the seventh rib okay with the help of hyaline cartilage the help of hyaline cartilage so these three rib bones are together called as vertebro chondral ribs what are they called vertebro chondral rib bones these vertebro chondral rib bones are false rib bones what are they false rib bones last two pairs of rib bones whatever they are 11th and 12th rib bones do not connected ventrally and are therefore called floating ribs what are they called the floating ribs finally thoracic vertebrae ribs stand up together from the rib cage what are the bones of rib cage thoracic vertebrae ribs sternum together form the rib cage very important point very important point please remember this point and finally this is the diagram of rib rib cage true rib bones you can see here false rib bones you can see here sternum ribs vertebral bones okay ventrally they connected to this dagger like bone dagger like bone called the sternum dorsally they connected to the vertebral bone hence they are bicephalic rib bones first to seventh rib bones they are true rib bones eighth ninth tenth rib bones are called a false rib bones or vertebro chondral rib bones these false rib bones are also known as vertebro chondral ribs what are they called vertebro chondral ribs okay remaining part we will see in the next class thank you have a nice day